we believe in giving credit where credit is due, but we also don't get you know completely out of control about it. Like they're they're good responses to questions. It doesn't mean that he's going to be the absolute best if he gets into the Senate. He's going to probably end up squarely in the middle of the Republican caucus in terms of his political positions, at least in terms of how they've been presented during his campaigns. And there's been some change over time. So, you know, good responses. Actually, being a strong progressive on the issues would be even better. So let's see if we can get that. In any event, obviously going to be a lot better than David Perdue. That said, let's move to this next question where what's interesting is that he's running against Perdue, but he's got some pretty good lines against Leffler when Warnock's you know, recent issues are raised, as you'll see in this clip. One more quick one while we've got you. Any, any concern that the allegations of wrongdoing against Reverend Warnock could possibly be a drag on the Democratic ticket next week? None whatsoever. Reverend Warnock addressed this issue a year ago. And here's the bottom line. Kelly Leffler has been campaigning with a Klansman. Kelly Leffler has been campaigning with a Klansman. And so she is stooping to these vicious personal attacks to distract from the fact that she's been campaigning with a former member of the Ku Klux Klan. I mean, we deserve better than that here in Georgia. And I want to encourage everybody to make a plan to vote on Tuesday. Okay, so uh, you know he likes the line, he repeated it three times. And it's interesting that Fox is just like, oh, well, this is what's happening now. I guess I open us up to this. But anyway, um, yeah, good line, important thing for people to know. Look, Brett, I personally think that saying she campaigned with a Klansman, I think is overselling it a little bit. She has a concerning number of times appeared with Klansmen in photos and doesn't seem to think that it's a serious issue that members of the former members of the Klan are like really hot for her campaign. Mm. Um, I think it's overstating it just a little bit, but it has come up time and time again. And when you combine it with how she's talked about things like Black Lives Matter and everything, if you want to make race an issue for her, she certainly has made that easy for you. Yeah, it's weird. This is so bad and so disconcerting that I think that the previous attack that we showed is better than this one um, for two reasons. One, in Georgia, the, like the further south you go and like, you know, Georgia and Panhandle, Florida are the furthest south you can go and parts of Alabama. Um, mm-hmm. Some people are like, oh, she, you know, the, the chronology of watching this segment was, oh, she profited off all of this. She made money and she's not giving me money. That's bad. Ugh, but another lefty calling someone racist. Mm. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, that that's the out that the right has crafted for themselves. Is the oh they're just calling everyone racist out and it works. It's wrong, but sometimes it works. So I would say things like, listen, you, you know, I would I would have gone back to the previous um, response, which is to say, listen, Raphael Warnock, Reverend Warnock answered these allegations a year ago, and for the last whole year, Kelly Leffler has been using her position to give handouts to her friends and profit as yeah. you die. Yeah, that's what I would have done because because that that's but I, the other thing it's worth pointing out is that that's Ducey's son, I think. Um and he sucks at this. He thinks he and, <laughs> and Jesse Waters with him. are in that same camp of I think because I have a microphone and I'm asking people questions on the street that I'm really getting them. But Mm -hmm. you're not, he doesn't have the skill. He doesn't have that presence or uh, ability to think on his feet to really get someone. And uh, Ossoff is just way better at this. Yeah, 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 I agree. Like, like, uh, look. Pointing out that she's campaigning with, uh, you know, a former leader of the KKK is a little bit different than just a blanket assertion of racism. It's more specific, but also neither going to be all that successful on a, you know, a Fox News audience. Like I doubt a lot of them are like, oh, a former member of the KKK. Well, then clearly I can't support her. Like I doubt that that's really bothering that much. <laughs> By the way, it's um, Chester Doles is the former KKK leader. She's been pictured with other white supremacists and far right extremists. In her defense. It's you know a portion of the caucus and the media and all of that on the right. So I guess she's got to appear with some of them. But anyway, um, yeah, I think that focusing on the corruption is better. I would go even stronger because, like, just saying she personally enriched herself should be enough. Like, we should be opposed to corruption. But I think a lot of Republican voters have been convinced that 
rich people cheating the system is okay. Because don't worry, like someday you're gonna be rich and then you'll get to cheat the system too. I would really contrast it, I would say, she got into the Senate not even having to actually win. She started going to private meetings and then buying stocks to benefit herself. She would then go out and lie to you about the information she got. And you'll notice that when she started investing in body bags, she didn't come out and say that all of her constituents should too, that they should profit as this pandemic rolls on. She kept all that information for herself while you lost um, you know, your savings and potentially your business and your job and all of that. Like I would really lay it out. I mean, maybe even that wouldn't be effective, but I think it would be a little bit stronger. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.